Well, hello everyone. How are you? Good afternoon. I got um, an intimacy read. Let's let these dogs have a little moment. <laughs> okay. So, first we have, I'm going to give you all the cards. Ace of Cups. Well, most of the cards. Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. King of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. King of Wands. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Ten of Cups. Mm, 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 mm. What's going on with your intimacy reading? Y'all know the cards I use never change. I always use the same cards. So what's going on? What's going on? Let's check some side note cards and see what y'all been up to. What's your intimacy? Your time? We're on the positive side of things, right? Side cards, we got Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, The World, and Two of Wands. It feels like there's a stronghold over this read, and I'm not sure why. It's like when I really want to do things on the positive side, it's a stronghold, and it should not be, especially not with me. But... At the end of the day, the Ace of Pentacles will always take over, right? Ace of Pentacles will always take over. Things will always be removed. The negative energy will always be removed. And we will always, what, get what it is we're supposed to get, right? We don't do come ups. We do work, right? We put in work. So we don't have to worry about come ups, right? <clears throat> right. So um, that's what we just saying with the Ten of Pentacles. We don't do, you know, the, you know that, that side card set. We don't do come ups. We put in work for the things that we get, right? I mean, it wanted to go kind of sexual because, you know, me and my hubby, <laughs> we're in our lovey dovey mode, right? But, you know, I got to bring the sexual and the passion and the tension and the love up off of this read because I don't do all that, right? If I was to do a, 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 a passion read, I might try it, but if I did a passion read, it will be probably three cards or so, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do one after this. I probably will. The sun will, the sun will come out tomorrow looking. <laughs> oh, man. So, <clears throat> and that's also with the Ace of Pentacles. The sun will come out tomorrow. There's always going to be a brighter day, a brighter side. This is an intimacy reading. You know, my intimacy reads have nothing to do with sex. Right. Right. It has to do with you and your intimate life. Right, if for those who forgot, because it's been a while since I did an intimacy read. So, currently with the Ace of Cups, everyone is looking to take care of themselves, right? There's no pressure, there's no pressure, there's no pressure. Why is there no pressure? Because what you're doing, looking out for yourself. There's nobody there, you're trying to preserve yourself. There's nobody there to possess you. You're doing you, right? You're doing the right thing, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. With that Nine of Swords, of course, you had a lot of things that you had to think about. You had a lot of uh, people that you had to take a serious look at. You had to take a serious look back at yourself and had to get rid of, you know, yourself first and then people, other people out your life. Because what you got to do, get rid of yourself to make changes in your life, right? You got to get tired of yourself to remove other people out your life, right? So that's how you change your behaviors. You get sick of yourself, then you start removing people out your life. So your behaviors can change, right? Your thoughts can change. Your outlook can change, right? Mm-hmm. So we have the Nine of Pentacles next. Like you said, like we were just saying, you were just cutting those things up out your hair, getting rid of all of that stuff that you do not need any longer. Your struggles, your strife, your pains, your uh, misleadings, your mishaps, right? 
starting first with family because they're 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 the intimate part of you, right? They're the first intimate part of you. Then your friends is the second second intimate part of you, and that's the order it should be going. If your friends are before your family, you you ain't right, or you come from some raggedy family, right? You choose. <laughs> I won't tell you which is which because it's all about your perception, not mine. I know a lot of people who think they come from a raggedy family, but no, you raggedy based off the people you hang around and date, right? Your family ain't raggedy. It's the people you hang around and the people you date that make you think your family's raggedy because raggedy people usually talk down on good to good people. They talk down on the good things they have. What's that called? Jealousy, right? It's not envy yet, right? It's jealousy, right? It becomes envy when they start forcing their views on you, right? They allow you to make your own decision and start disliking your family and separating yourself from your family. But when you want to go around your family, they're like, nah, nah, nah. Now that's the envy, right? It's gone past jealousy to envy when they're trying to keep you from your family, right? But your family should always come before your friends. I don't know what's up with that, right? So now we have the um, Eight of Cups that we're dealing with, right? Walk away from anything, right? All your secret wishes and secret desires. Walk away from all of that stuff, right? Right? Anything that you have to do in secret, it's time to walk away from. Of course, right? You can put your things on the forefront. If you can't put something on the forefront, then that means it's time for you to get rid of it, right? Why are you hiding stuff, right? Why do you hide stuff? Because you know it's unacceptable to other people, right? You don't want, or you, you don't want people to know that you do it because they may make fun of you. Well, get rid of that person, right? Stop doing stuff in secret and put your stuff on the forefront. We got the Seven of Pentacles, right? All your wishes and dreams and hopes are being fulfilled at this current time. There's hidden forces, of course, that want to come against you, but yet again, right, they're hidden. So, right, if something's not directly in your face, messing with you and getting on your nerves, keep it moving, take care of it, right? Do you, right? Don't let nothing that's hidden stop you. You see how I do. Stuff, I got lipstick on my fingers. Some people run around here all the time aggravating me. Nah, you cool, you chill. What you doing is doing it behind closed doors. So I'm really not trying to allow myself to get stressed about it when you're not at my door ready to knuckle up. Right, so I'm not concerned. So when something is hidden, anywho, right, till it actually come in your face, right? Unless it's messing with your finances behind closed doors. Right. Unless it's down talking you to your family, your family looking at you sideways, then okay. Because that's called rumors, right? Smack. Damn. Yes. What is next? The Knight of Swords. And that's what I was just talking about. Handle all your confrontations, right? Handle all your confrontations. Stay in your own lane and make sure other people stay in their own lane when it comes to you, right? Which means staying out your business, right? Because your lane is only one car only. This ain't no carpool, right? This is not a carpool. We have the King of Wands next. <clears throat> we have the King of Wands next. We were just talking about, you know, mishaps and stuff. Um, with the King of Wands, the King of Wands has gained a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The King of Wands knows now that it's my fault for what's been going on. And I know that as long as I accept these behaviors, they're going to continue to be around me. If I accept these people, they're going to continue to be around me. Why wouldn't they? I'm accepting them in my life. I'm not really being honest with myself and saying these people really truly need to go. So with that being stated, once I become true to myself, then all these other people will be gone and I will no longer have these mishaps, right? I won't be looked at like a freaking mood ticket all the time, right? I won't be looked at, excuse me, as a bottom feeder myself because I hang around bottom feeders because I'm related to them or I've known them my entire life, right? Or we have, right, or they're my nephew or niece's parent right uh-uh get out of here with all that too right i don't owe nobody nothing right mother-in-law father-in-law none of that right in-laws just period right <clears throat> cousins nobody you don't owe nobody nothing no you don't so we have the four of pentacles next your life is steady you're studying out your life right four of pentacles you're balancing everything out your life is steady everything is all good Mm -hmm. I'm like a piece of lint. Nah, it is, but I'm trying to do something right. It don't matter. Right, so with the Four of Pentacles, life is balancing out. You're chilling. You're finally getting everything in order. You're staying within, you're not in a box, but you're staying within your own box. You're playing in your own sandbox and you're not allowing anyone else to sit in it. You bought one of them tiny personal boxes so you can have fun yourself. Right, 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 right. 
you're having fun with yourself now. And that's exactly what you need to do. Next, we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is you remove all your frustrations, right? You removed your frustrations, and that's a beautiful thing. Right. This is something that's called a process. Right. What I'm doing right now, this intimacy read is a process. So if you're like, I haven't done any of this, it don't make no sense to me. But I do understand some of it's resonating. Well, guess what? This is a process read. And I was, you know, just understanding that myself because I'm like, OK, but right. I'm going along and it seems more like a process than this is. This is. No, this is a process read. Right. It hasn't happened. Some of this stuff has not happened yet. It started. It started, but you haven't reached your full process. Some of your, your intimacy, you're not fully at the four pinnacles yet. A lot of you guys are still at the king of swords where you're getting rid of things, right? So, and the, some of you are at the point where, you know, like, you know what? I did this to myself. I understand this. And if I do not remove everybody, no matter how much I care for them, I'm still going to be hurting myself, right? Some of y'all are still at that. I really need to get rid of the people I truly love still because they're still not healthy for me, right? So some of y'all are still at that King of Wands stage. And now there are others that are at the four. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's why this is a process read. So there are those who are at the four of pentacles who are, right, they, they're in, they understand their box. They're in their box. They're not coming out their box, right? And they staying in their lane. They're not letting nobody else in their lane. Their lane is their lane. It's not a carpool, right? And that's what you learn in the King of Wands section, right? And the Knight of uh, Swords section, that's where you started cutting everybody out, right? Right, and then once you hit the King of Wands, you understood, okay, I need to get rid of family and close friends and stuff too, right? Right, because they're, 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 they're the, right, <laughs> the first ones in your face. So the Four of Pentacles people have done that. They're in their sabbatical period, right? They're in their sabbatical period. So now we have the Two of Swords people. Oh, the two, now we're at the Two of Swords, and this is where you understood that you had to take care of all of this and go through that process. That's where I was at last when I understood it was a process for you. So this is a process. You understand that now. And you are sticking to your guns. Because once you actually go through a process and you don't rush it, it right, you don't go backwards. It's easy to keep moving forward when you're serious about, number one, making a change. And number two, when you go through a process slowly. Right. That's why I take people through processes slowly but fast, though. Because what I say, if you go too slow, you get stuck. And, right. You start getting sluggish and people start hopping on your back. Now get off me. You got to keep a steady job. Right. So with that Ten of Cups, <clears throat> because when you're jogging, a person is bouncing up and down on your back if you're holding them on your back. So they're like, yo, put me down. Right. After a while, they're, they're like, put me down. But if you're walking with them, oh, they can sit there for a while. Right. Now nah, you got to keep a steady job. Right, and that's just with that Ten of Cups. That's what they're saying. You know, people will sit on your back as long as you let them. Nope, do not walk, run, jog. <laughs> if you got to sprint the hell away from somebody first, right, that's what you do. And then you hit you a steady jog, right. But don't start, don't walk. It's not walk time yet, right. It's not walk time. It's time to keep it moving. Do not let people interfere with what you are proposing for yourself. Do not take other people's advice that you have taken before and it didn't work for you what's the point of that right if someone gave you advice no matter who they are if it hasn't worked for you most of the time and you actually follow what they said do then why are you taking it again if they gave you advice with no instruction why well guess what they left you to figure things out for yourself so why did you even go and get advice right advice must come with sound instruction sound advice must come with sound instruction and, and, and patience, right? And pro understanding that it is a process. If you don't do that, you'll be right back at square one, right? Trying to figure out life, right? Trying to figure it out, right? Um, I read it our side cards. Oh, okay. So your future happenings, what do we see? You're very strong because you've learned how to war. What does it? <laughs> You're very strong because you know how to war. And, um, oh, strength card, queen of cups and king of swords. So you know how to war with the strength card. So everything will be great. It will be all right. There's nothing for you to concern yourself with or be worried about. With that queen of cups. In love, in life, things are definitely looking up, right? You will definitely have a nice, beautiful, intimate, sexual relationship. King of Swords. And this is going to be a strong male or 
male, if you're a woman, who will definitely take care of everything, all of your needs, right? You have nothing to worry about with this person. You will definitely be taken care of. Um, if you are a woman, you... I'm sorry, if you are a man, you will get you a solid woman with that king of swords. She will be a very solid woman. She will be there with you. She will be there to help you. She will be there to guide you when you don't know as well. Because men don't always know everything. You need a woman to guide you as well at times. So, um, you, you will have you a solid, strong woman who will be able to be there with you, for you, and help you with every I don't know why I'm struggling with this to help you through everything that you need to get through in life because there's a process there with you as well you're not going to be totally finished so this is the woman who's going to come in and help you finish up your process because a lot of you men have been damaged by women so a strong beautiful awesome great woman and I mean beautiful from within first has to come in and show you what a real woman is like because a lot of you have been damaged a lot of you grew up in an era and were born in an era where women already weren't crap. A lot of you were born in the early 90s. Right. These chicks that's running around here now that you guys are dating, mm -mm, they're not proper chicks, right? That's not what a proper female is. And she may not be a bad, nasty girl, but, I mean, these women are not even trying to get married. They're just sleeping around. They're just, you know, doing wifely duties for the guys, period, right? And it's like, chill out. Right, chill out, chill out. And then you do got them wow slut buckets, right? But anywho, right? Uh, what else do we have? We've got the Page of Cups, and we've got the Six of Swords, and that'll be you know I'll call this your finale. Did I do these? I don't think I did those. And this will be, maybe, I don't know, because I didn't do the other cards yet. As far as your intimacy, make a pact with yourself. Make a beautiful pact with yourself with that Page of Cups and that Six of Swords. Make a pact with yourself that you will take care of yourself first. If you don't have small children who, die, who need you, make sure you take care of yourself first. You still have to take care of yourself first in order to take care of them. But as long as you're at your basic... Make sure them babies is taken care of. And then take care of you first. It don't matter who else is around. Because if you ain't straight, you can, why are you worried about a man? If you ain't straight, why are you worried about a woman? Right. Right. For men with kids, take care of your babies first. And, right, straighten your ass out. Right. The Six of uh, Cups and the Sun card. Everything I'm saying... It, 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 it's a process and it must be worked on. It's not something you can look at in, in a mirror with that six of cups and wish and hope and pray for, right? Not wish and hope and pray for. You know, you got to put in work. You can wish, you can hope, and you can pray. <laughs> but with that sun card, you most definitely have to put in work. Everything requires work. Don't, don't, the sun got to rise every day, right? Don't it got to go down so the moon could come out? You know, you, you know, we're on different sides of the earth, so it just depends where you have what happens, right? So with that being stated, the sun, the atmosphere, the atmosphere itself still has to put in work. The atmosphere still has to work for the sun to rise and fall and the moon to rise and fall, right? So, and for things to grow, right? So with that being stated, you can't just do what you want to do in life. You can't just sit down on your behind in life, right? You want something, it has to be well within your reach, well within your realm, well within your arena to go for, right? And then you have to put in the work you right so that is the end of the intimacy read i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got all the cards that i listed last cards was six of cup and sun card right uh i may come back all right it's friday i keep thinking it's saturday it's friday hmm. right 